CFS Europe. And what's on my mind today is some of the cool sharing features that you get in the Metabase analytics platform. We use Metabase uh, for a wide range of things with our customers. And uh, one of the great things about Metabase is it can be configured to share dashboards and share individual reports with other people. And I'm gonna run through those features in this quick video today. So first of all, if you're not familiar with Metabase, this is a dashboard of reports that I've pulled together around uh, a light set of data that uh, relates to the library catalog. And uh, you can see that there are various different visualizations that Metabase has for displaying report uh, data, and they can all be pulled together onto one dashboard like this. Now, what's really great about Metabase is not only that you can create these dashboards, but you can share them with other people, and you can do so in a number of different ways. So if I explore some of the options uh, over on, uh, on the toolbar over here, first of all, there's something called subscriptions. So this is how you can set up uh, for the dashboard to be sent on a regular basis to either yourself or a certain person or to a certain set of people. And quite simply, you just choose whether you want to email it to those people or that person, um, or whether if you have an application like Slack, whether you send it to that application, Slack. Um, and the configuration is very straightforward. You simply enter their usernames uh, or email addresses. Users of the system will be in there with their email address as part of their user details. So I could just select myself there and that'll come to my uh, configured and associated email address that's associated with this account in Metabase. Or I could just enter uh, my email address there instead. So it can be anyone and you can see it's uh, it's still recognizing that as, as my account because that is indeed the email address associated with that account. And then you can choose how often that email gets sent. Now it might be that this dashboard represents your monthly reporting for your library. So you might want to schedule it uh, monthly and then on whichever uh, point in the month is the most appropriate for that to be sent. Um, and it'll tell you then when it'll uh, when it'll send that. Um, and then you can choose to actually send the email right now if you want to um, as a test or to get uh, get things going. Uh, sending it to Slack is exactly the same. If you've got a Slack um, workspace configured, then it'll pick up all of the different channels in that, um, that Slack workspace. Or you can actually just look for a user and select the user. And again, you can select the periodicity that that gets sent. So if it's the sort of dashboard that has um, sort of data that needs to be acted on, you could send it daily to uh, a channel in your Slack um, to remind people to go on and deal with the uh, deal with the actions around the data that's being sent to them. That's a, that's a use case for that kind of functionality. So those are a couple of ways of uh, setting up subscriptions, but you can also share dashboards um, in a couple of other ways. Um, you can use public links to share the dashboard on either, either to anyone or um, on a display screen, for example, in the library. Um, you could have this particular dashboard showing to your users on a display screen, um, or as you saw there, you can use this code to embed uh, the dashboard into posts or web pages by copying the uh, copying the code snippet there, um, or you can actually write it into an application. If you have an application and you you want to write a dashboard into part of the application, then you can do that also. So there are there are those other ways to share your dashboard information too. The other way of sharing data out of Metabase is actually sharing data out of individual reports. So if I go to this particular report here, um, the sharing links are actually down in the bottom right-hand corner here. There are three different icons here. First of all, I can download the results of this report and that will download it in a number of different formats, depending on how I want to, to, to download that. I can set up alerts for this report. Now, if I, if I come back out of this report, go back to my dashboard, 
here's a damaged items report. Now, if we act on the damaged items by looking at this report and then dealing with them and changing their status from damaged to out of the collection or whatever, whatever, or repair them or whatever, we might want to set up an alert to this report that alerts us when there is, it, there aren't usually any results in it, but when a result pops into um, that report, i.e. something gets flagged as damaged, then we get alerted to that fact and then we can act on the damage report. So again, we can set up how that alert comes, how often and uh, who, to whom it gets sent, either by email or again into a Slack channel in the same way as I demonstrated for sharing the dashboards. So that's the alerts functionality. And then the other icon is sharing. And similar to sharing dashboards, we can copy and paste a link of a report. And that is going to bring up, uh, for any non-logged in user, it's just going to bring up that report. And they're going to be able to see, in the same way as you can in the, in, as a logged in user, the actual data points behind uh, the chart, if it's a chart like this. If there were a filter, they would also see the filter and be able to operate the filter as well. Um, and then you can also share by embedding and uh, embedding into an application or into a website. Finally, the last way that might be useful for sharing a dashboard is simply exporting it as a PDF. And that will enable you to share the dashboard just as a PDF file. And if I click on that PDF, you can see it's now opened in my browser, but that's now a PDF of that dashboard, fixed in time, obviously, um, but it's useful to know you can also export the dashboard as a PDF, which is a nice functionality too. So hopefully that's been a useful little video explaining to you all the different ways that you can share your great um, dashboards and reports from your Metabase application. Hope you've enjoyed it and uh, look out for more What's On Our Mind videos coming soon.